Well, hello, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me. So, a pretty exciting looking unboxing today. Um, as usual, I, as I say, the same rules apply. I don't actually know what this is at the time of opening. You will know by now, of course, because of the uh, video description. But this is the first time I will know what's in the package. Um, it's only arrived literally five minutes ago. So it's always good fun to share the unboxing with you guys. Let's see what we've got. What I can tell you is that it's broken because I don't think any of the uh, I don't think any of the units I have actually work. So please do subscribe, by the way, for um, for repair videos because uh, I do restore and repair anything that, uh, that comes through the door. So we've got all sorts of vintage boom boxes, you know, ghetto blasters, that kind of thing, radio cassettes, personal stereos, eight track players, all sorts of stuff. So, what do we have today? Oh, hello. All right, okay. It's one of the big ones. And this is, I don't think I'm even going to save the packaging for this. Let's have a look. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. So, first things first, we have ourselves a little figure of eight connector with an old plug on there. So, what do we have here though? Well, this is, if I can get to it, an old JVC boom box and I'm going to be super careful just with this knife for a quick minute. There we go. Alright, okay, so here we have the JVC RCM70 Ghetto Blaster from the very early 80s. And I can't remember what's wrong with this, except to say that there will be plenty of things that are wrong with it. They are huge, they weigh, they weigh a ton. But uh, let's try and see what's right with it first. So, um, well, it's pretty much, it's broadly intact. Um, the, uh, the screws for the cassette door are present. Um, yeah, a bit, bit flappy there. And there's some paint, gloss paint on there, discoloration and paint to the speaker surrounds. But the original blue speakers are still there. Um, yeah. Uh, the switches seem to work. Switches and sliders are present. And there's a broken aerial tip on here. Someone's... I don't know if you'll see that, but someone's basically put a screw in the end of one of the antennas there. Um, that antenna's fine though. Um, okay, so on the back, ah, oh, right, okay. So, could be anything wrong with this now. So there's a hole in the back. There's normally a screw, uh, sorry, a, a plate on the back there um, with the model number and stuff. So I'm not sure what's happened or why that is like it is. So we'll figure that out in due course. Um, these units are ridiculously expensive these days, even in bad conditions. So, um, so yeah, we'll hopefully it won't be too bad. We know it won't be working. Either the radio or the tape will be broken, but um, it is what it is. You know, these things are so old; they're forty odd years old now, and uh, you know they need to be restored and repaired. So, um, so please do subscribe, hit the notifications bell because we will shortly be. Um, giving a proper full evaluation of this um, and I'll plug it in, test it, see what works, see what doesn't work and um, and we'll go ahead and start repairing it and get it up and running. So we'll do strip down and repair videos as well. So please subscribe, hit the notifications bell and do check out my other repair videos on Vintage Tech and I'll be back soon. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.